fear. It was 70% black and brown. Prisoners, all white guards. What could go wrong? Grab the guards, grab the keys. All hell broke loose. Tell me this, are these primarily blacks? Guys were complaining about the basic things like toothpaste. A roll of toilet paper would last you a month. The inmates were considered like animals. They beat you up in your cell and they take your segregation and sometimes you don't come back. Have the inmates made any demands? There are all kinds of demands for a change in the whole world. This had to be mediated, otherwise it was going to end in disaster. They wanted to use those weapons. Put your hands in the air and you will not be harmed. You will not be harmed. You will not be harmed. But that was bullshit. America. Somebody had to take a stand. I, listen, I was in Attica too, man. I went to Attica when I was 17, right? So I know, I know when you get there, man, you're like, man, what the hell am I? The cops are asking what they sent you there for. In your mind, you're probably thinking the same thing they're asking you. Like, this wasn't supposed to happen, man. What what people what people don't know in state prison is when you're from Rochester, man, we're like a gang. You hear me? U.S. Jeans. We we stick together, man. And usually it don't it don't matter what color you are, none of that shit, man. We're like our own gang, man. And you know we get busy, man. Rochester dudes are known for getting busy. Let me ask you this though about state prison. See, federal prison is different. I've been in state and federal prison, right? Federal prison, man, it's racially segregated. There's gangs. There's this. There's that. But when you walk in there, man, like dudes embrace did the dudes embrace you from the town? Yeah, absolutely. See, I knew a lot. I, I knew a lot of people because, you know, a lot of us was from, you know, most people say east side, west side, but where I'm from, you know, the original people, like we we call it the north side. Like, you know, Clinton, Hudson, you know, places like that in the rock. Um, you know, so like it was a lot of people from the north in there and uh I was good when I walked in. You know what I mean? I hear you. How about gang affiliation? The Bloods run the, run, run the New York State prison system pretty much, right? Yeah, uh, all of that. You know. And uh, what about violence? Is there a lot of violence in Attica? I mean, it's famous for the Attica riots, right? So that's why I'm asking you that. Yeah, it is famous for the Attica, with the, as far as the Attica riot goes, because, uh, you know, it was even, when I was there, it was even COs whose family members was COs and was involved in that. It was COs that was there when it happened. You know what I'm saying? And on that day, you know, I don't have the day, you know, I don't have the day on hand specifically, but on the day of the, on the anniversary of the Attica riot, basically, you know, nobody really comes to child. When I say child, I mean, you know, nobody goes to the mess hall, to the cafeteria, you know, to eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I mean, if they do, they just sit at the table to converse and leave their tray empty um, in remembrance of, you know, a lot of the people that we lost. You know, a lot of people don't realize, man, you know, like them dudes back then, they gave up a lot, man, for very little. Like, they, they laid their lives on the line so they could have things like programs and, you know, food you know, right. hot food and not be treated the way they were treated. And them dudes were, br I mean, there's guards that died too, but the prisoners were brutally treated, man. They were burned, they were shot. There were, you know, there's evidence that knives, I mean, the federal case was right. here in Rochester, Buffalo. Right, see, see things get, and, and that's where, that's where, and I gotta bring it back because that's where gangs come in at. Because back then, when those Attica riots was going on and there was gangs and there was organizations, you know what I'm saying? People, you know, people call it gangs, but it wasn't really, it, it was a unification. It wasn't really like a gang, gang, violence type of thing. These people were, who created these organizations were against police brutality. It's been going on for years. They was against oppression. You, you understand what I'm saying? They, they, they was against that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Discrimination and all of that. So they was fighting for their for their rights, for real rights, for what they believed in. You know? 
some of them some of them had to fight to eat even even when i was there you know some some ceos just skip your stuff they won't even pop your cell to eat they'll dead the whole block on track you know what i'm saying they just fighting for we got phone privileges we got these flat screen tvs now now niggas got ipods and all of this in jail you know they getting certain foods they 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 getting visits these people died and fought for this they fought for that they are the reason why we have what we have today because they had to take a stand somebody had to do it nowadays these dudes is cowardly and i'm that's just what it is i spent my whole bed fighting for me so i'm gonna let you know that now you know what i'm saying i got for real i got a disciplinary sheet to prove that you know what I'm let, let me ask you this, right? Because I know there's a history of the Attica Guard since that Attica riot where the cops over there will beat the shit out of you. Is that true? You know, when I, and I will say this. When I was there, absolutely. They jumped the shit out of you. This is no lie. I'm, I'm talking about spank your boots. I'm talking about I've seen people get teeth knocked out. I've seen people, I've seen COs kill people in front of me. You know, everybody talking about PTSD. I see more dead bodies than I can count on my hands and fingers. You know what I'm saying? I don't see police torment people so bad that I walk past the cell in the morning and see somebody hanging. You know what I mean? They can't bring them back. All they do is say is lock in, take them, and, and, and the sad part about it is, 20 minutes later, they up there laughing. You know, that shit don't mean a damn bit of nothing. I used to say this a lot about a lot of the police, right? Like. These dudes like hunt deer and they cut them open, they shoot them, they, they see blood and guts all the time. And a lot of them dudes that work in prisons are country people, right? So I think when they see people get murdered and blood or they, they do the things that they do in New York's known for killing people in prison. The, the guards are known for that. It's not something we're making up, they're known for it. It doesn't affect them because it's like killing a deer, man. They don't look at, you know, and unfortunately, man, I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them. You know, they look at it, Hispanics and blacks and poor whites, and they say, who cares? They're nobodies. They're like an animal. Right. Here's the issue, though. The issue is that these dudes is looking at us like we animals, but these dudes is, they the real criminals. They just ain't got caught for it. They get away with murder. Everything that people do out here and go to jail for, they do in prison and get away with it. It's legal for them. But for us, we get locked up. They're the worst criminals in the world. You talk